Fortnite for 1,000. Wait, no, TikTok for 2,000. Oh, I'm sorry, Jamel. Those are not categories. I'm sorry, I didn't say. What is TikTok for 2,000? Oh, my. That and a lot more today as we see what the guys know on Jeopardy as we talk youth fads. Alrighty, welcome to the UIC show. We're so glad you're here. We are all about building next generation leaders. Today we're playing some Jeopardy. It's going to be fun. Uh, Jomel is actually playing with us. I've always wanted to do uh, From behind the booth. Uh, yeah, that's he's right. He's made it to Maine. I'm on this side of the screen. Very I have exciting. on me. I have legs. <laughs> so you want to explain a little bit about what's going on today? Well, that's not my job anymore. Oh. Now we have a new host and our staff member, Tony. How do you say your last name? Daskalakis. We say Big Mac Tony Mac. Big Mac Tony Mac <laughs> is going to explain what we're playing today. Howdy, folks. So today we are going to be playing a game of Youth Jeopardy to determine what the guys know about youth fads. I can confirm as a youth myself that all of these fads were at one point relevant in my life at least. Um, so we'll see how much these guys know. In traditional Jeopardy fashion, we'll be going down five categories of toys, slang, icons, clothing, and a grab bag category to keep things interesting. All those categories go from 100 to 500 points as each contestant shows off what they know. This will, of course, culminate in a final Jeopardy where they can risk it all to secure the win in a final question. Sweet. I'm nervous. I'm scared. So what's the consequence if we win or if we lose? Because I keep on losing, and I want to know what I'm in for. There's been a little bit of streak going, huh? I know. I'm, I'm See, on streak. See, funny you ask, Brent. The loser, the one who clearly knows nothing about youth fads, oh is going to have to go to our next work meeting showing off their fidget spinner. If anybody asks, they can't explain why, and they need to make sure that boy is spinning <laughs> the whole meeting. So you're telling me that if I lose, I have to show up to a professional, formal meeting yes. and just be doing this the entire hour? I would recommend make, maintaining eye contact with the spinner and the speaker. <laughs> How do you maintain eye contact you with like, both like the this. spinner and you the speaker? You have the speaker's face right here, like where you're looking through it. <laughs> well, Brent's practicing for when he loses in the future. <laughs> oh, <heck. laughs> well, let's get this game Alrighty. going. Alrighty. Well, Jamel, we've decided that you get to go first since you are Welcome now to the table. Well, here. I'm glad to be here. You're our only Canadian, so we're good. So kick us off. Representation. <laughs> what, uh... um, okay, yeah. Well, I guess uh, if I get to choose, I'll do the boring thing that we hate when people do on Jeopardy and pick the top left. I'll do toys for 100. Nice and boring. Toys. Just like me. Make for sure, 100. Make sure your hand's on the table when we... This popular we children's toy is utilized primarily oh. with your hips. What is a hula hoop? What is a hula hoop is correct. Very Good nice. job. Good that job. is 100 Good points job. for Joe Mel. Whoa, nice. whoa, whoa. Nice. I wasn't even ready, man. Yeah, we just jumped oh, right man. into here. I'm, I'm like, ready. I'm I'm going for it. I'm on this side of the table, boys. I know. I know you're excited, bro. I'm, so... I've always wanted to hit one of these buzzers. Oh, nice. Hey, guys. This is Joe Mel from the UIC Show, uh, the editor of this episode. And I'm sure you're wondering uh, why I'm interrupting uh, this awesome, hilarious episode with a cut to me in my office. Unfortunately, the iPhone that had the main shot that was recording Chris, Brent, and I received a phone call from my ever-loving mother about five minutes into the recording. So because of the lost footage, just to give you something to look at while listening to this episode, of course, we'll still have the shots of Tony and we'll still have the Jeopardy board. But uh, every time Chris, Brent, or I speak, we're going to uh, cut to this picture uh, drawn by the wonderful artist Jezreel Dariano. Uh, here is her uh, Instagram if you want to see more of her art. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's what what happened, and I'm sorry. I don't know. That that's just how making a YouTube show works, I guess. That's well done, bro. That's, I, I pulled the Brent you. and I definitely hit the buzzer before I remembered the name. I was like, <laughs> I, I just dude, hope I. But you knew it was coming. I could um long enough, like yep. um. You knew it was gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jomel, it's yes. still yours. Where would you like to go next? Well, I guess the logical thing to do would be toys for oh, 200. All right. This miniature children's toy lets students skate on their fingertips. Oh, yeah. What is. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, dang it. Oh. I forgot wait, the name. Wait, how soon can we steal? I don't know. Uh, Brent, go for it. What is Tech Dex? Oh, tech what is Tech Dex is, is correct. Uh, I'll stay with toys for okay, 300. All right. Toys for 300. This Japanese children's oh, toy. What wow. is a kendama? That is wow, correct. Wow. What is a kendama? Dang, I'm getting whipped here. I'm not trying to 
But what is it? What do we have to do if we lose? Oh yeah, I'm not trying to hold a fidget spinner for the whole game. <laughs> I still carry mine from when it was a fad. <laughs> oh wait, so that means two people have to hold the fidget spinner. Right? That's true. Because there's, or only, just last place, there's yeah. only gonna be one. Have fun, oh, guys. we could do last place. Yeah, yeah. that's true. No, let's do two of us. Okay. I'm right. tired of losing by myself. Uh, in All that right. case, I'm gonna go with toys for 400. Oh wow. Okay. Toys for 400. This type of Nerf blaster is marketed to Nerf fans 14 and older and utilizes round foam pellets rather oh. than darts. Um, oh. <laughs> what is a Nerf gun? <laughs> that is incorrect. Did you lose money for guessing wrong? Dude, now it's going to be too, com- too complicated. Yeah. I, I, got n- I got nothing. I, I feel like I know. I, it's yellow. The yellow pellets. Right? Yeah. Bonus round of trivia. All of their blasters are named after Greek gods from mythology. Oh. Oh, wow. oh. Okay. I personally own the Ares. What is the Tony? To be released. Okay. <laughs> the world's not ready yet. Yeah, but I, I got nothing. What are Nerf ball shooters? <laughs> not even close. Good. The answer I was looking for is, what is oh, Nerf arrival? Oh, nice. Wow, that was thought, a $400 yeah. question. All right, and now we're back to Joe Mill. All right, so wow, that, that was a rough one. But I guess we just have to, for the completion sake, just I'll go it toys for it. 500. Thank toys you. Toys for 500. This children's game utilizes a shooter to be the first to knock out 13 mibs. What? I don't know. What is beat em on? I've never even heard of okay, <laughs> a <never heard> <laughs> Japanese toy oh. that shoots balls that knock out things. Man. Um, oh, shoot, there's a... Th- I know. <laughs> I, I can't think. I don't want to get <laughs> it wrong. Might as well guess. There's no penalty. Yeah, for there's no penalty. Oh, just oh, go for right. it. Well, um, the, uh, I just can't Tony, think Tony, these the 500s are really hard. Yeah, this is the difficult one. If you guys get a single 500 right, I'll be thrilled. Oh. That's MIBS? Does MIBS stand for something? It, it's not an acronym, um, but it is an alternate. It's an, uh, it is a slang within the game. I'll, mm. I'll say that. I got nothing. I've bought I these. No I've bought these for kids, and they got the shooters, and they got the, the thing. I've, I've I don't know. I don't think it's what you're thinking of, oh, Okay, okay, good. Then. If you bought this for kids, you're a pretty lame youth pastor. What Just, is Beyblade? No way. What are marbles? Oh! <laughs> How is this a youth was, fad? Is this was, a youth fad from 1920? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah that's good. This I was is, thinking, I was thinking Beyblades. I was yeah. thinking Beyblades. Yeah. So I went for it. But I was like, I was like is Beyblades Beyblades would have been a lot cooler. I wish Beyblades I had thought about it. That's what I thought it was because Beyblades is the modern day marbles. Yep. Did, kids did kids still play with Beyblades? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They, I don't know. They did three yeah. years ago. They came out when I was like in high school. They still play with them. Yeah. Sweet. I bought them for like little kids, like, uh, like 10 year olds. We're back to Joe Mel again. Church, All yeah. right, back to me. Well, let me uh, go ahead and jump somewhere else. I don't want to be too boring. Yeah, let's we go. can't go toys for 600. Yeah, let's go icons for 100. All right. Icons for 100. I don't know slang. All right. Suzanne Collins' hit trilogy of books follows a teenage. What are the <laughs> Hunger Games? <laughs> Dang it. What are the Hunger Games? Correct. Joe Mel knows too much. <laughs> he is you know too what's funny? Was he said sad. that I would have an advantage, but I don't think Tony knows how old I am. We like, I said I'm closer to Chris's and Brent's age than I am to Tony's age. I was talking about emotional age, not, oh, not, yeah. not physical <laughs> age. Dang, That's true. I'm we should have brought somebody <laughs> not as young. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. That's good. I, I, have you guys ever read any of those books? No. I was even going to say Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's, that's, like, Stephanie that's Collins. like three generations past my reading level in school. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I've read one of them. It wasn't bad. Well, uh, let's go wow. icons for 200. All right. Icons for 200. This famous actress and singer is famous from her days on Nickelodeon's Victorious. Victoria Ju- Who is Victoria Justice? No. What? And she oh! her last name with a 16-ounce cup How of Starbucks. How soon can I go back? Nope. You can't. You already lost, Ever? Bro. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I don't like this game. Jamel is tormented is with the truth. I know this one. I know it. Uh, oh! What is? That sounded really similar. I think that was correct. Spinal-taneous? <laughs> was that it was very spinal-taneous. Go ahead. What is Ariana Grande? Yes! I should have finished the hit. Hey! Oh, I did it. Well done. Good job. I went too fast. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go crazy here. Oh, boy. And I'm just going to switch things up, and I'm going to go clothing for 400. One of clothing those guys. for 400. It's the Daily Double you cheated. Uh, right? <laughs> this wildly popular clothing item, originally by Lululemon, appeared in the market in 1998 in Vancouver. Hmm. Well, as a Canadian... You should know. I know you got you got yeah. Vancouver. I'm not from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, can I call a friend? What show is this? <laughs> friend. I will say. Man, these are tough. I should. It is a spiritual that cousin of the skinny jean. What are tights? I don't think tights is accurate. What my are wife? You? My wife wouldn't let it fly. Can so I, I go? Can't. Sure. What are yoga pants? Oh. Uh, 
What are oh, yoga yeah, pants? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know they originated in Canada. That Canada, makes a lot of sense. Right? Vancouver. Yeah. Jeez. Jamel, where are you taking this again? Leading the competition Jeez, here. You know what? Since we're just going crazy uh, and there's no sense of law and order, let me go with slang for 300. <laughs> slang for 300. <laughs> this phrase was popularized oh. by Lonely Island's YouTube video in 2009. Oh, oh. It means to do something extremely well oh, with confidence. Oh, I threw it on the ground. I'm on a boat. Uh, uh, oh. I'm not going to know Lonely Island's YouTube video. I don't know where it started. I, I, we'll go with throw it. What is throw it on the ground? <gasps> That's got to be it. Incorrect. Dang oh. It. Do something extremely well with the Throw it on the ground to do something extremely well with confidence? Well, I mean, that's just the one that makes the most sense. He had so much confidence like, when he threw it on yeah. the ground. I, I don't – I mean, there's some really inappropriate ones. <laughs> um, <laughs> right? I know there's some that you have yeah. like, I don't know if we can say that. I, I mean, I, I thought I knew all of these, but I, I, I got nothing. Have we given up? I have. Correct answer was, what is – Like a boss. boss. Oh. They coined that? Oh, yeah, they did. Like a boss. Yeah, that was a good one. That is a good one. That's 11 years ago. Jeez, so no one gets to go back to you me? Thought, you thought it's through the decades. Jamel. Like right. a boss. Um, so my OCD is kicking back in, and I'm going <laughs> to go back to icons for 300. <laughs> icons for 300. That's OCD? <laughs> this boy band features a trio of brothers uh, uh. who are known for many hit songs. Let's go next. And their starring role in Camp Rock. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get this wrong. What is uh, Jonas Brothers? What? Oh, who are the Jonas oh. Brothers? Oh. That is correct. Well did it. What Good is job. that, 300? 300 yeah. for Chris. Well done, man. All right. Let's go Jonas with brother. slang for 100. I think I would have gotten it wrong. <laughs> slang you for 100. Brothers. This word is great. This word is slang for great, exciting. Oh, that was literally the past penis. tense of light. I, I think went, it was Chris. Went, 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 what is I was Chris. lit? What is oh, lit? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. All right. We're going to go crazy again. We're going to go with grab bag for... Dude, 300. You're a, you're and a, that is our daily a, double. No way. Oh, He's cheating. You can't just swing. I'm going to go in the middle. Fortnite, PUBG. Well, hold on. Let me see how much I'm going to wager here. I'm going to wager uh, just 200, I guess. Go for Fortnite, it. I don't even, oh, I think PUBG, and Apex Legends are all examples of this <sighs> video game genre and trend. What is Battle Royale? Yeah. What Not is a Battle nice. Royale? Well nice, done. Nice, nice. nice. I'm terrible at those games, by the way. All my teens just want to play. That's all they play, and I'm horrible at them. My yeah. last video game I played was on PlayStation 3, so. Oh, well. I mean, I play mobile games, but. Old man. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I just all play right. on a computer. Where are we taking this, Chris? Let's go clothing for 100. These wacky whisper oh, hands. Oh, Brent got it. Could come in many different shapes, styles, and colors. Brent. What are silly bands? Silly bands is correct. Thank you. That was never a trend in my youth group. I don't know. I never. I don't remember. See, what year was this? I remember being really sad because all the other kids in my fifth grade class had, had silly them. bands. I didn't. Yeah, like 15, but, like, like 15 years ago. But Tony didn't have them. Ten, That's fair. Ten. Oh, Brent. Brent. Where we taking this, Brent? Yep. Um, let's go back to slang 200 to help Jomel. Help Thank Jomel. You. Slang 200. This phrase was oh. shortened down to the acronym Bay to denote uh, your signif significant other. What is babe? That is incorrect. Oh dang. I will Shit. point out, Bay is an acronym. Oh. To the acronym Bay. Oh, I see. TikTok, I gentlemen. Yeah. Beyond anyone else? I don't know. That is incorrect. Oh, what is beyond anyone else? Not that it, 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 I thought it was right. You've already been proven incorrect. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. I didn't know Brent? Bay was an acronym. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I Babe know. above. Beautiful yeah. and something. Everyone. I think. Beautiful. What is before, oh, before anyone else? I was else? close. You were very close. I was close. So I close. You, I you just thought Bay was short for babe. You also yeah. didn't say what is. So yeah, you're right. So it was you a wouldn't double have even gotten it anyway. It's all right. It's a good try. Good try. Right. Good try. Thank you. All right. And we're back to Brent cool. with the pick. Where are we going, Brent? Uh, let's stay with uh, slang for 400. Oh slang for 400. This modern phrase to denote someone is responding to another person's criticism. What is a clapback? Oh no way! Oh, what yeah. is clapping that? Let's go. Oh Woo. my gosh! Wow, we! Oh man! Wow, yeah. we! Very nice, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I was, was gonna say Karen, but I don't even know what I, I don't know. What that's like saying. a really that's like a 2020 phrase. Is Karen on here? Well, we'll find we out. One question we'll left. Oh well, let's find out. Let's, let's do slang out. for 500. No way, it's gonna. If be it's Karen. Karen, I'm gonna laugh. Right? Slang for 500. Super new. The slang giggle mouth is a dated term from the 19th century that could describe many children. Wait, that's just a fact. Where's the question? 
The slang, the slang giggle, giggle mouth. Dated term That's the question. Uh, I guess. What, what is... is somebody who laughs a lot? I'll take it. Oh. I will take it. But what's the actual answer? This can't what be is there. slang for someone who's always smiling? That's not the same. <laughs> That's her. The judge. If, <laughs> if, if, if Trebek sour, says so. I'm sour. a little sour. I'm, not, I'm helping Chris out a little bit here. You're, okay? still, you're still winning. You need, you need some compe- competition. Because I'm definitely we can, not <laughs> it. We can, send it, we can send it to Jesse for a, no, a it's second fine. opinion. I just, I like Let us know in the comments how you feel about that. Let's do grab bag 100. Grab bag for 100. This popular video sharing service has birthed a large number of songs, dances, and memes. It also shares its name at 7 o'clock. What is TikTok? What is TikTok? You said it wasn't part of this game. Right? I lied. That's that's fair. More really, though. I just just forgot. (laughs) That's hilarious. Like, I I paused because I thought he said TikTok's not on here. (laughs) Let's go clothing 200. Clothing for 200. This popular shoe brand was initially intended for skaters, but has begun to see more widespread use. Can I go? Yeah. What is Vans? What is Vans oh, is correct. Nice. Ordered in my guess very nice. Uh, we'll stay th- uh, clothing for three. Clothing for three. This clothing store is popular in the punk music industry and has mm. also been sponsoring the genre for oh, years. Dang it. I can't. What also, is, their shelves are lined with collectibles from many fandom. What is Hot Topic? Oh, what nice. is hot I was, topic? I was wanting to was say Spencer's. Say. So and that I was, was like, the place that, what's like, the other one? Uh, that, for yeah. you growing up, was that like the place that like the Christian kids like weren't really supposed to be in? Or Kinda, like, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, in, when I was in seminary, Christian kids didn't come out of there. When I they went yeah. in, they just disappeared. They're yeah, gone. they never came back. <laughs> they came back as <laughs> when a Christian as, kid <laughs> as punk rockers. <laughs> <laughs> when Christian kids, walk, kids walked into Hot Topic, they never came out. That's that's a good quote. At no point did Tony ever buy a My Little Pony t-shirt from Hot Topic in the seventh grade and then wore it once a week. Whoa. <laughs> so, at, at, so at no point did that happen? <laughs> at no point did that happen. Tony also did not – Tony also, if that would have happened, would have definitely realized it was from the women's section. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Jamel. Oh, back to Joe Mel. Uh, back to Joe again. Mel. The OCD is kicking back in, and two hundreds all by itself. So let That's me do true. grab bag. Lonesome two hundred grab bags. Grab bag for two hundred. This exercise became a strange youth fad involving. Oh. I think I goes to Brent. To so what is planking? Very nice. What is planking? I needed it. I just said tie goes to the runner like it applied. <laughs> <in> <laughs> tie any goes situation. to the runner. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take like. It. All right, Brent. Where are we taking good. this? Um, to help Joe Mel, we're gonna finish clothing with five. How does that help me? <laughs> Your OCD. Oh, okay. Clothing I'm just trying to, for 500. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. This inspired the design behind the tread of early Nike shoes. This design can still be seen in many modern models as well. You can also find it in many kitchens. Mm. Wow. A lot of information there. Have to unpack it all. What is tile? What is tile I is incorrect. At, okay. Jeez. I worked at Foot Locker for three years. You would think I would you know this. You should know this then, man. I just... Air... Is air the inspiration? What is... (laughs) (laughs) It's incorrect. (laughs) (laughs) I thought he was going to say his answer later. I don't know if that was his answer. That's his answer. I know it's not herringbone, but I was going to say, like, that's what I thought, like, on a suit. Like, the suit did something. So I was going to say herringbone. I'm trying to think of things that you find in a kitchen, like table, chair, knife, spoon. No, no, it's 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 the design of the tie. Yeah, yeah. The tread is like that. I've got no idea. I've got nothing. All right. We've got, got nothing. You want to take it? a stab at it. Just something random you'd think of that you would find in a kitchen. Tile was honestly the best guess. What about... Oh, I wear Adidas now because I don't support Nike as a corporation. Squig- squiggly. What is a waffle iron? Uh, Who has waffle wait, irons in their kitchen? On the old Nike shoes, it was like gridded? That tread. Yep. Yeah, mm. They got the inspiration from he was trying to find a good tread that would reduce traction, so he poured shoe rubber into his family's waffle iron oh. and ruined it. Wow. But he made But he made an dollars. awesome shoe. <laughs> but he, but he made, made an awesome, awesome waffle <laughs> out of <Waffle> rubber. <laughs> all right, we're back to Brent. Four questions left on the yeah. board. Still me? Back to Brent. Uh, Brent, if you get all these right, you just might come in second place. You <laughs> might. <laughs> I might. Let's go with a grab bag for 500. Grab bag for, for 500. Five. This is the name of Rapunzel's oh. kingdom in Tangled. Oh, no. What is the kingdom of Corona? No. What is no. Corona? <laughs> Dang it. I only know this because it was like a yep, so, the yep, meme. Because that, like, it was a meme, yep. Because we talked about a UIC meeting once. We did. We did talk about doing a UIC meeting, yeah. I figured Absolutely if anything, good. that'd be the one question you all should know. Uh, yeah. If you pay attention in our meetings. If. <laughs> only if. Yep. 
Joe Mello. Dang it. That, I'm surprised I knew that one. Pick the question to secure your lead with. Uh, well, I have to uh, just that, – that lonely 400 is bothering me. Grab bag for 400. This Swedish video game studio was founded in Stockholm. It is behind the massively oh, popular oh, Minecraft. What is Mojang? What is Mojang is correct. Wow, very nice. Man. Very nice. No idea. I, I no feel idea young. <laughs> I was going to say Supercell. <laughs> Supercell. Oh, that's, they make uh, Clash of Clans, right? But I then I saw say, Minecraft. I was going to say Bethesda. <laughs> Supercell is actually, I'm huh? pretty sure they're a global company. Oh. Each was, cell is in a different part oh. of the world. Oh. Then I, my next guess would have been Pong. About like seven years ago, I was uh-huh. playing Clash of Clans like habitually every day. I spent like $20 on it, and I accidentally Expender. deleted my clan, and I tried emailing Supercell every day to get my clan back, and they never responded. So wow. I just kind of had like this animosity towards Supercell. So no more Supercell for Jomel. Ooh. Did you email the right cell? There are many different Supercell. I might have emailed the wrong cell. It I'm pretty sure Super. Clash of Clans is Supercell Montreal, but don't include it in the video because I could be wrong. Well... It's being included. I was there. When I went to Montreal for, my, for the green card, I should have you went to the Super Hey, yeah. while I'm here, can I get a two for one? Yeah. <laughs> can I get my $20 back? <laughs> Jomel. And a wedding All right. certificate. Our icon for two. 400 or 500 <laughs> Can I get my $20 and a green card? And a green card, please. <laughs> Let me go with the icons for 400 <laughs> Icons for 400 This famous YouTube personality was created by Colleen wow. Ballinger. Who is Miranda Sings? Who is Miranda oh Sings is gosh. correct. Dude. Wow. I feel so young. Right? Raise your hand if you've you been are. to the Miranda Sings comedy tour. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I did see the YouTube show. Have you seen her YouTube show? <laughs> like her YouTube channel? No, no, sorry. No, a Netflix show. I'm an idiot. Uh, my wife watches it. Okay. Good show. Oh, so I guess uh, icons for 500. I icons so. for 500. <laughs> That's Beloved country star, gone pop icon, Taylor Swift bega- hmm. or grew up farming this plant. What is corn? That's incorrect, Chris. Oh, oh. <laughs> she he said wears corn. Shorts, I thought he was I know. I would have been so happy too. Yeah, I would have um, had five hundred extra points on top. I got no idea. She she was. A, I mean, I guess it makes sense. She was a Might as well throw out random plants if you guys oh, give it a guess, know. Brent. Hemp. <laughs> <laughs> what is surprisingly? <laughs> what what is <laughs> tobacco? <laughs> tobacco. <laughs> what are potatoes? If you get it right, I'm going to be... Can you, can you repeat that, Jamel? What are potatoes? Oh, no, he did. What are potatoes? Not even close. What is a Christmas tree? <laughs> <laughs> Who farms Christmas trees? Taylor Swift's family farms Christmas trees. Oh, of course they do. Gosh. If, if I remember right, her job specifically was to bat off the critters like spiders, grasshoppers, and various other bugs that would get infested in the trees. Good job, Taylor. Right. Well done, Miss Swift. And the rest of the Swift family. Well, then. I had more respect for you then. <laughs> we all did. <laughs> so, we're going to jump over. What's the next part there, Tony? Oh. So, now that all the questions have been answered. Oh, gosh. <laughs> now that Joe Mel has already asserted his dominance. A commanding lead. A commanding lead. And just for the record, I am not that much younger than Chris. Just for the record. I don't want anyone thinking that I'm. Appar- are, you fl- are you flexing over there, Joe Mel? Apparently you are. <laughs> I know, according to this information. Now, do you, does Joe Mel. <laughs> Do you guys have any chance of beating Jomel? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, if you wagered at all. If I wager anything. So, uh, uh, unless... Okay, wait, so let me do this. Wait, look, if, if, I, if Chris if I wagered everything, everything yeah. I would still have less than what you he has. you still have $100 now. less. Okay, let me do this. I will wager 100 so, so that, at worse, <laughs> we tie. tie. I'm not Am I'm I not that brave? Everything. Jomel, wager 99. Just flex on I it. know, just to be a jerk. <laughs> all righty, so here we are picking up with our final Jeopardy. The, stu- the subject of this final Jeopardy is fidget spinners. Each of our players will be allowed to wager up to their point total and risk however much they would like to increase their score and settle their place in the rankings by answering the following question. Are we ready, gentlemen? I think so. I still I'm trying to count on, on my wager here. Hey, in my question, am I allowed to give all my money to whichever the participants I want? <laughs> That's not how this game works. <laughs> <laughs> We're making back, back deals. But, uh, yeah. What is this, Monopoly? Yeah, right. All right, so I got my if, if, wager. Yeah, if it is, oh, okay. So, well, ne- so that we don't show it yet. We hear the no, question first, right? Well, you make the wager. Yeah. Oh, I already put the answer. You make the wager. We don't have this question. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've got it wrong then. <laughs> we, we know the category, fidget spinner. You make the wager. 
Yeah. Then he's going to reveal Brent's the question. Brent's like, yeah, that's my answer. What are fidget spinners? That's what I thought it was going to be. It's my answer and my question. If you, uh, if you put the answer now and get it right, I'll give you the whole game. <laughs> that's fair. I concede to that. I would too. All right. What are three sides? Are we ready? Yes. Ready. I think so. <laughs> Catherine Hedinger oh, yeah. is often credited as being the inventor of the fidget spinner, as she had patented the device in 1998 after a trip to Israel in which she saw children throwing rocks at people when they weren't occupied. Since the wild popularity of the fidget spinner in 2017, roughly how much money has Hedinger made? Ballparks. Should, should we share our rationale, or should we just start talking? Or should we just start writing? Just write it and then reveal. All right. The music Because it is a talk show. Yeah. Is that copywritten? <laughs> Probably. That, that's where we're doing our own. Yeah. 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 Just everybody make a noise. And that's why we're not doing the uh, worship leading portion. <laughs> All right. I think I'm ready. Brent and Chris scribbling away. I have no idea. To determine what might be their fidget future. Dude, whatever. <laughs> all right. Within 10000 that's like, oh my god. I went you? almost all in, but I played conservative and I held back a dollar. Smart move. And with $19,380,573. Oh, wow. Bucks. I'll reveal correct answers at the end. All right. I have no idea. Yeah, I went with $4 million and I wagered it all. Oh. So I got really close to Brent. I just went straight to $20 million, So uh, our answers are... Pretty, pretty close to each other. Um, but I decided to not be a good sport, and I wagered $99. <laughs> wow, the safe call while still flexing on the opponent. Yeah, right? So absolutely. Th- that is rough. Yep. Yeah, but, well, once you said the topic, uh, if it was something else, I would have gone 101 just for the entertainment value, but I know nothing about fidget spinners. So, so you're just um, dabbing on the opposition. Right? Absolutely. Exactly. Oh. Is that how did I do it right? <laughs> yeah. That's a Jeopardy question also. No. You fad. <laughs> the correct what answer. Is, was nineteen million? Oh my gosh! Three hundred and seventy thousand? No what? way! What? Five hundred and seventy-three? Oh, no! My, no, no way! way. Oh, no! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he had me. He had I just me. got tingles, and I was like, "What is happening?" <laughs> I was. I was Blown like, away. "I should have bet seven hundred, so I could oh, at least bet you." So who was the? Closest? I bet it all. <laughs> From twenty seventeen to now, roughly. Catherine Hedinger has made a whopping zero dollars oh, on the no fidget spinner. No way! Because so, she had released her patent in 2005, being unable to afford the $500 renewal fee. And had she kept oh. it, she may have been able to share a slice of the fidget spinner fortunes just 15 years li- or 13 years. How much later. would she have? Oh, <laughs> you can figure that out on your own time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's my homework oh assignment. Oh my gosh! So, what does that bring our scores up to? Jomel has a whopping 2801, 2801. I'll take Brent it. has $1. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. And I got zero. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So, wait. So, Nate pays me, is what, like a bonus or is it spread out? No, the third place person has to carry the fidget spinner. <laughs> the no, third, no, no, no. The yeah, third yeah, place yeah, person has third, to pay us our. Third no, place person has to carry the fidget spinner. We said second and third. Otherwise, I would have wagered nothing. <laughs> That's fair. What is a lie? So <laughs> during the meeting, Roll back I, the footage. I'm looking forward. I'll, I'll, what should I do? Should I just like try to bring as much attention to Chris and Brett playing with Wait, the fidget spinners? No, you don't possible? need to because Nate's number one and number two guys in the staff meeting are going to be not paying attention. I'm pretty sure he will say something vocally. <laughs> are we going to let him know that he lo- you guys lost the bet? Or It will be distracting. May, we'll have to forget. We're gonna have to figure that one out because we're gonna have to do something, uh, yeah. and then at some point he's probably gonna tell us to put him down. Put him down. Yeah. That's fair. Because if we're both doing it, he's gonna know oh, something's yeah. up. He's too smart. <laughs> I'll have my little like camera recording it, like the moment that Nate rebukes you guys, and then I'll add that clip to the end of the video. <laughs> get a, I'll get a giant picture of a fidget spinner and share my screen of that. There you go. <laughs> of a fidget spinner gif. <laughs> the whole background. Well, um, Brent, anything you want to say about a fidget spinner? Why did we pick that? Uh, I got one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, that would get you a fidget spinner. Right, right, right. I used to get a couple of them for that. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, well, some of you guys know, uh, if you watch our channel or you, you're familiar with UIC at all, uh, we talk about the fidget spinner as a tool. We kind of talk about our relationship in our church ministries uh, with local churches, uh, campus allies, and ministry partners, uh, student leaders. So we've got all three parts of, of our uh, 
of our uh, uh, little toy here to be able to help to understand what we're supposed to be spending our time doing as we're focusing people on God and uh, talking to kids in schools and yep, students right. as they develop uh, their Bible clubs. So. Yeah. Anyway. No, and it's awesome. I love the way that all three work in one. And I think yep. the topic of youth fads, uh, I think that just like the over, another theme of today's episode is that uh, it doesn't matter how, how much you know about uh, youth fads or how little you know about youth fads. Uh, our calling is, is to love teens, yep. no matter what we know. And I think a lot of youth leaders get intimidated, like, well, I don't know that much about like what kids know about. Um, and I think it's just a reminder, like, that doesn't matter. Like, it's fun to know these things, but it ultimately it's it's about our love for for the kids mm. i really i scored a lot more points than i thought i would because i'll tell you i know very little about what the kids d- uh, know about today but um so there's a lot of good stuff there in that episode yep. it was fun so yeah and i would say too um the work that we do with teens we couldn't do without our people that we work yeah. with our our campus allies those that open up the rooms use their rooms for our our bible studies work with this work with the teens the church partners out there um, absolutely and uh the student leaders of course we yeah. couldn't we couldn't do what we do without working with them and so we wanted to kind of highlight that in this episode and um if you're a teen out there you're a uh somebody that works on campus or you're a church partner looking to get involved with with student ministry uh make sure you contact us and and we can yeah try and get you involved so and when all three work together as one it makes us whole i don't know i was trying to be more clever with that powerful stuff powerful stuff thank you design i see the cool design hanging through it it was a lot wittier and like smarter in my head and then once i said i was like that wasn't smart at all (laughs) everything that comes out of my mouth is smarter in my head (laughs) that's fair well thank you for allowing me uh, on this side of the table yeah and uh for Thank you for so graciously you, destroying yeah, us. Yeah, you killed us. And not, even, not even going all in to give us a shot. Like, I think we're going to have to keep no, him on that side <laughs> of the table. He wages it so low that even if we had a one, we still would have lost. I know. Yeah. <laughs> even if we put our money together, we would have lost. If anything, I would have only won by a dollar at the worst, but that was fun. That was a fun game, guys. All righty. Any so, final thoughts, Brent, before we close it out? Uh, no, just good stuff. Uh, I, 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 would, well, I actually would say this. Um, like in youth work, like I know a really old youth pastor, not me, but somebody older than me. Um, and that, that intimidation thing that you said, yeah. um, like it's really the relationships you make with kids. Um, it's important for you to be a part of their world. But I sure. think I think that uh, also it's important for those kids actually to learn like an older world. And it's so true. it's kind of cool for them to hear fun things. They might make fun of you for yeah. the way you say something or slang mm-hmm. that was cool 20 years ago. But all of a sudden yeah. it's not cool today. That's so fresh. You know? So Oh, dope. tight. That's dope, dude. I tell the kid, I, yeah, I say dope, I say tight, and the kids just hate it. And the kids just look and they go, what does that mean? They're amazed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. All righty. Well, so, thanks for watching, and make sure you visit our website, podcast at uic.org. Uh, send us an email. Uh, we, I, put, I flipped that backwards a little bit there, but send us an email, visit our website, podcast at uic.org. Visit our website. We'll talk to you soon. Make sure you subscribe, and thanks, Tony, for your help today. Tony. We'll see you soon. Anytime, guys, it's always a pleasure getting to see how little you guys know about our youth of today's fads. Bye, everyone. Catch you all next time. Nice. (laughs) And if you don't want to miss any more videos, don't forget to ring that bell.